So we see the Nash this national high school movement going, and, and we, we kind of narrow our minds to, to the competitive side where it's just a race. Uh, but I, I think that's just such a small part of, of what this is actually doing. And what this is doing it is embodying like the human spirit, right? It is taking something that you love to do, um, that you can be competitive at, but also flipping it around and, and having it provide you this extreme excitement and fun and joy. And also you can, you then are happier to go out and share that. You share it with your parents or your neighbor or your cousin. And all of a sudden you're like, you're this conduit to this happiness and this thing that people are like, well, I never even thought I would ever do that. Um, it's why we see coaches, it's why we see parents like picking up the bike kind of after, after the fact. I'm honored to present this evening's first Trek All-Star Student Athlete Award to Nash Dory of the Arizona League's Buena High School team. Nash exemplifies the student athlete principles upon which NICA was funded. He has worked incredibly hard to maintain his grades as well as hold down his job at a local bike shop. All the while, while pushing himself to earn the title of Arizona State Champion, all three years he has raced the league, he is humble when accepting, allocates, and grateful when given them. He is sought after for his guidance and friendship from his entire team and competitors alike. Nash has a bright future ahead of him, and we won't be surprised to see him in a future role continuing to coach and inspire the next generation of NICA writers. With that, please join me in congratulating Nash. All right, Nash. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a great picture. <laughs> Good evening, parents, athletes, coaches, and board members. I want you to all know how thrilled, I, thrilled and grateful I am to receive this Trek All Star Athlete Award. I especially want to thank my parents for all the love, support, and encouragement they get, have given me from the time I first started competing in NICA in the Arizona High School League in 2013. Without my parents, coaches, and local cycling community, I wouldn't be standing here right now to receive this award. I also want to thank the other wonderful people in my life who've helped mentor and support me in all my crazy ideas, such as 100 mile mountain bike rides and Everest Hill climbs. I've always had great support. I'm deeply grateful to all of you. This award means the world to me, not just because of the achievement it represents, but because of competitive cycling, NICA, and high school racing has truly really changed my life. It has made me not only a better and stronger athlete, it's made me a better and stronger person as well. It's given me more confidence in myself and taught me that I can achieve even the loftiest goals I might set. It's also taught me to be more humble about my accomplishments. I've come to realize that there is always someone out there who's better than me, faster, and stronger. That's what sets the bar higher for me and encourages me to strive even harder. Through racing, I've learned to conquer fear, which is present at the starting line of every race. At the same time, racing, racing has also helped me become a more sociable person by being a part of a team and a member of a tight-knit community of cyclists. Standing up there on the winner's podium with my teammates after a race, or me, is just the greatest feeling in the world. Absolutely the greatest. You know, I really never saw myself as any kind of mentor to young athletes, but now I find myself helping and advising a lot of younger kids just starting out in the world of cycling. This chance to share and help others is also a wonderful and rewarding feeling for me. Another gift that I would not have had without NICA and the Arizona High School League. I look forward to being a, able to race at Fort Lewis College and continue to grow as a cyclist. I'm also excited to be able to grow as an ambassador for the sport and continue to pass on the things I learned to learn to younger cyclists. Mark Twain, the great American writer and humorist once said, 
Learn to ride a bicycle, and you'll never regret it if you live. Well, I learned to ride a bicycle, and I haven't regretted it for one single second since I started riding at the age of 13. I also must admit, as Bob Weir of the Grateful Dead once put it, bicycles are almost as good as guitars for meeting girls. <laughs> so, thank you again from the bottom of my heart for this award.